Hey everybody, Dr. Naveen here. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about the MARA appliance. Now, the word MARA is actually an acronym and it stands for four different words. Mandibular, anterior, repositioning, appliance, M-A-R-A. -A. And I'm going, in this video, I'm gonna show you what one looks like, how it works, and why we use it. Okay, so here we have a set of plastic models that were printed from a scan that we use in, our, in my practice. We actually don't take many molds of people's teeth anymore. We use a three-dimensional scanner and then we send the image to a company. They print the models and I don't know if you can see they have a little sheen on them um, using a 3D printer and then they send them back to us with whatever um, appliance we need manufactured. This patient has this type of bite. Can you see that? Obviously, the upper teeth are quite a bit ahead of the lower teeth, and um, we need to try to fix that bite by getting the bite, getting the lower jaw forward like this and making it stay there, basically. That is a much better bite, and that is our goal. Well, not too long ago, we used to use a special device called a headgear that some of you may be aware of. I wore one uh, when I was a kid. And I actually don't use those anymore. Instead, what we do for patients like this who are still growing is we use a special appliance called the Mara appliance, and it comes in two parts. One part fits over the bottom teeth, fits over the bottom molars with a little wire that extends forward and rests against the back of side of the front teeth. And then there's another part that fits in the roof of the mouth, like this attaches to the molars in the permanent molars in the back and it has these really odd looking attachments that are removable we have it attached with the little rubber ring we call them elbows because they look like an elbow and there's one on each side of course we glue this in place around these teeth and now with this mara appliance glued in place remember the patient used to bite so that their upper teeth were quite a bit ahead of their bottom teeth well now when they bite, these metal parts interfere with each other. So they can't bite in their normal bite without sliding their jaw forward into this position. Now look at the, the positioning of the front teeth. Much better. Now of course that is not permanent because if I just took this thing off the next week, the bite would go back to where it started. So what we have to do is when patients are growing, we move the lower jaw forward like this and the patient can open and close, they can eat. It just takes a few days to get used to it. And we make them essentially move their jaw forward and leave it in that place for a year. While that's happening or while that's in place, the lower jaw is then growing back into position in the socket or at least the part of the jaw that uh, attaches to the head is growing back into the socket, making this new bite permanent. After a year, we remove the appliance like this and like this, and then we put braces on the rest of the teeth and finish up the straightening and fine tuning of the bite. But their jaw has grown into that position and now this is their new bite. So that's when we use the Mara appliance and what it is and I hope that helps you understand everything you need to know about the Mara. Thank you, I'll see you in the next video. Look, can you believe it? I don't know what to do with this. Does it fit? What if I put it in? Try it on. It's gonna stab me. Goodbye on it. Ow. Wow. Is it on? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs>